Hey, this is Truck with Peace Corps God, May 2017. I am here with Sam. You go by Sam or Sammy? Any. I'm right. not picking. I'm going to call you Sam with two M's. Okay. All right. uh, we are about to leave. We are T minus seven hours or so yes. for the flights. It's ten and a half hours, and I am so stoked for that trip. Um, uh, I have some questions for Sammy here, and I'm going to ask them. So, Sam, how are you feeling about what's to come? I am really, really excited. Um, I think nerves are a big part of it, but I think that's just a natural reaction with something that we're about to do. So. Uh, oh, yeah, I would say that's definitely natural. Um, so tell us about yourself. Why are you qualified for Peace Corps and what are you doing? Um, well, um, I have a studio arts major with focal and ceramics and mixed media. Um, so um, part of what I do is think creatively to um, problem solve. and. Um, that's one of the main reasons why I joined, especially in this project, is just to um, teach a different culture and also be taught myself. So, I'm uh, told you just got a haircut. Why did you do that? <laughs> well, um, because my hair was pretty long and um, I was already sweating my butt off in um, the training room that we had. So I figured on our lunch, why not go get a haircut and it happened within 20 minutes the lady was very very quick but concise so i appreciate that and i let her know so yes. we have more reviews on yelp for this place if you'd like to go to the website yes no. um, but <laughs> was there any sort of cultural influence on why you had your haircut um no but there is um in reference to my own life um i had planned on cutting my hair but i kind of wanted a tracker for how long i'll be gone um, I probably won't be cutting it again, um, but whenever a big life change happens in my life, um, I always cut my hair. Um, usually I have it long, but um, I usually grow it out and then donate it. Um, people in my own life know that, um, but I kind of wanted to grow it out this time, but like I said, I was too hot. I was sweating all over the place, and I just needed a haircut. So yeah, Plus it's a lot hotter and gone. Yes, exactly. So what are you expecting the experience will be like? Um, I'm expecting that it is going to be a whirlwind of new culture, new diet, new language, um, just new experiences um, that I really haven't been able to experience because um, a lot of people don't know, but I haven't been across seas before. So this is going to be completely new, but um, with our Peace Corps team, I feel really comfortable and I'm really, really blessed to be with the people that I'm with. So. Well, thanks. I'm not one of those people. So I exactly. Think no. Trek you the man. <laughs> All right, so what's one strength about yourself that you can expect will aid you in your journey? Um, well, creativity, um, like I said, but I think that it also has to do with problem solving because um, among all of the great experiences that all of us will have, we're also going to come across problems. And um, part of being a problem solver is trying to think of new um, innovative ways to solve a problem um, that many people like may not be able to solve. Um, but part of my goal is to use my creativity in order to solve those um, problems in a different way. Um, and also I think um, empathy. Uh, I think that I'll be an ear for people. If people need to talk, I mean, I'll be here, I'll listen actively. Um, so yeah, those are some of my strengths. Do you know, um, so this is actually in reference for an earlier question, but do you know what art you're teaching? Like what's the subject matter? Um, the subject matter is basic design. Um, so I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be doing a younger age group. Uh-oh, Memorial Day. Um, but I'm going to be doing a younger age group. Um, we're going to be teaching principles of basic design, line, shape, texture, um, the basics of art, and um, basically teaching it in a way um, where they can um, kind of um, solve problems in their own life by using art. Great. All right. Now for a weakness that you are afraid will challenge you in the adventure. A weakness that I have is I am a little too trusting. So um, I trust people way too much. I give them way too many chances. Um, and. I think just going through um, the staging process um, that we just went through yesterday um, with all of our fellow cohorts um, has taught me um, mitigation and how to go about um, reducing 
um, the downfall of being too trusting with people. Can you uh, expound a bit more on what the consequences of being too trusting are? Um, I mean, by being too trusting, um, you can let people a little too close and um, that can just lead to problems. Say someone asks for money, they say they'll pay you back. This isn't going to be the situation in Ghana, of course. Um, it may be, you never know. Um, and then I give them the money, they say they'll pay me back by a certain time and they don't. Um, it doesn't really matter to me, but if they ask me again, I'll freely give it up. You know, I'm, I'm just a giver in that way. So that's just one way that kind of, trust kind of um, is demonized in my mind. But in the end, I mean, um, with the environment that I'll be in, I can't be as trusting. I kind of have to be critical of um, things that um, cross my path. Is this a cultural concern, like uh, the difference in their culture as ours? how they might take advantage of your trust? Uh, no, it's a personal concern because I've always been too trusting. Okay. So it's not cultural at all. All right, last question. Uh, what's one thing you'd like to share with people considering Peace Corps? The one thing that I would like to share is research, research, research. Um, Trek shared with me that he is an information consumer um, yesterday. And that, that's me, by the way. Yes, exactly. That's the person behind the camera. Um, he let me know that he's an information consumer. And that is one thing that I think all people who are looking into Peace Corps should know. Consume as much information as you can by coming to this video on YouTube. You're consuming the information. Um, also, look on the peacecorps.gov website and go to events in your area. That is gonna be key to your success. Um, meet your recruiter in your area. Go to a coffee table where you go and have coffee, look at your resume. Go to resume workshops at your um, local colleges. Um, all of the above are going to um, just increase your chances and also show the Peace Corps that you are committed to taking um, the 27 month um, commitment to serve. All right, thanks, Seth. Thank you. Bye, you guys. See you, folks. See you, folks.